Sorry about that. We had a video malfunction. But the reason why I put this breaker going to this outlet is in case I needed to charge my batteries. I do have a 48 volt battery charger. And that was bought from Signature Solar. These Gill batteries are bought from Signature Solar. These inverters were bought from Signature Solar. So were the solar panels. And they are the ones that helped me design the system. And it works pretty good. So. On to the wiring. Okay, so let's take a look at the wiring. Now, this is marked with red, and it hits on these that with the red wires, okay? The other lead is black, and it hits on the ones with the black. Now, I told you about this plug-in, which is wired here, okay? That is the only one this comes directly from my meter comes into here okay so that's coming from my meter into this power shed that comes direct and you come over here and this is extremely important that all these are wired with the red and black going to the inverters and nothing is wired you cannot cross up these speeds they have to be the same and on every inverter okay <clears throat> so if you're going to have grid backup you have to do this exactly like that and also when I leave and come into here, everything is wired the same. I have the lead marked with the red wire or red tape. 
and then all of the uh, breakers are on the corresponding bars that way it's all you know and these are my inverters over here this is a heater for in this shed this is the lights and the plug-in for in this shed <clears throat> <clears throat> and this runs to my service panel in the house. It is extremely important that you keep all of your wiring to where you don't cross nothing up on these lead, you know, these bars. You need to keep your your legs separate. Now, as to the reason why I have 240 volt inverters instead of doing the 110 or 120 legs, and I have this. I had two of the smaller inverters, the 110, 120 inverters, and the problem is that they only feed one leg and one leg. So when you're running your power inside your home or something, you will trip your power because your inverters do not produce enough. Doing this is a midpoint transformer. Okay. So all of my power from all three inverters feeds in here. And with the midpoint transformer, it decides where the power goes. You don't run enough 120 to justify having it do it separate. Okay, doing this, all your 220 is fed and you have plenty of power. I can run power tools and all kinds of stuff. And I do. Okay. But if you don't have these inverters with the transformer then you have issues with not having enough power on each leg when you feed your house if you run 220 or 240 inside the house and you don't have enough inverters you you could put the the 120 inverters in and use them and they'll feed, you know, they have some that'll feed 120 to each leg. And the problem comes in when you go to use that power. Doing this, I found, is much better. I do have more inverters that I tried before these. And these, with the 240, work a lot better using the transformer. And please take note, using the uh, handheld screwdriver is a lot better than using a power screwdriver. That way you do not strip out these threads.
Plus, I started all of these screws, and now I'm going to go around and tighten them all up. Now, these boxes here, these contain components that I already have, but I have extra. That way, if something breaks or, you know, burns out, when I bought some of this stuff, I did buy extra on purpose. That way I would have it on hand because most of your parts you have to order off the internet. There are no local suppliers in my area, and you will find that true in most spots where you are doing solar. You know, there are some places that do have solar readily available. Where I live is not one of them. Now, as the morning has progressed, my solar is producing more power and I'm starting to charge the batteries. The solar is not providing power for the house at this moment. If you look, it says solar only. So the solar is the only thing that charges my batteries. That way, I only cycle my, you know, charge my batteries once a day. Your batteries have cycle life and their degradation is determined by how often you cycle them. So if you're cycling your batteries a lot, then they're going to degrade faster. That is why I have mine on solar only. I just do not find it financially beneficial to go ahead and buy more batteries at this time. I would like to get more batteries, but I'm going to wait until I have more money. <laughs> 